My name is Joshua Harmon, and I wrote Significant Other. I started writing the play almost six years ago, and we had an assignment to write nine short scenes that could be read in any order. And so I made up these nine scenes between what became Jordan Berman and this therapist talking about this guy he was obsessed with at work. And as I was rewriting it, I decided it was less interesting to see Jordan talk to a therapist. So I, I cut the therapist and made all of the scenes more active between him and his friends. So there are three big moments in the play where you're at three different characters' weddings watching their first dances. And if you've ever been to a wedding and you're at the first dance, it's weirdly the most private moment that you may ever get to experience because all eyes are on the couple. Nobody's looking at you. Nobody's paying attention to you. Weddings are a celebration of love and togetherness and unity and they are also full of people who are single you know at every wedding there's like a photo of some like strange little guy in the back who's kind of turned away and uh, I was like well what's going on with him I want to I want to write about him. Of course you draw from yourself for any play and so there's a piece of me in every one of the characters in the play as there has to be. Anytime you write another person, you know, that person and your own experience have to meet somewhere in order for something true to come out. So I instinctively knew that Jordan's grandmother belonged in the play and there was something powerful to me about her wanting to pass on her stories and, and thinking that he was the, the repository for those stories. And he is at his most vulnerable in thinking, who will I ever have to share these stories with? She's needing to give him this information at the exact moment when he's feeling most vulnerable about being left in charge of it. I firmly believe that by being incredibly specific, you hopefully can tap into something that's universal. And so my hope was that by being incredibly specific about this Jewish, gay, 20-something New Yorker who works in advertising and has all of these girlfriends, that actually you can reach people from all walks of life and all ages and backgrounds. Wendy Wasserstein was a name that resonated in my household. Um, my parents didn't know a lot of playwrights by name, but they knew hers, and when she had a new play, they went. So it was always in my consciousness, and then as I got older and I started to read her work, I really responded to how funny it was, and how emotional, and how personal it was. And um, that became kind of like the holy trinity for me of playwriting. The protagonist, Jordan Berman, is definitely an homage to Janie Blumberg, who's the protagonist of Isn't It Romantic? And so there are little things that are taken from all over and little secrets, and it's more fun, I think, if I know them and, and don't reveal all of them. I saw The Last Night of Ballyhoo when I was 14, and I was really taken with it, and I went home and I wrote Alfred Urey a letter uh, in pencil, and he wrote me back and said, if you want it badly enough, you can have a career in the theater. I will never forget getting his letter in, you know, opening the mailbox, and there was a letter from Alfred Urey. That will stay with me forever. My advice to aspiring playwrights I think your task is to write, to put plays out into the world that don't exist, that you are hungry to see as an audience member, that there's some an experience that you want to have that isn't available to you, and to create it for yourself. And in doing that, if you're writing for yourself, potentially you'll create something that will mean something to other people too.